Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. It's been about a year since my last video. My last video was of my A6 ring setup, and I was in that size for the first half of 2019. And then in the summer, I would say, I moved into B6 ring size, which is about 5.3 inches by seven inches. And I moved into that planner right there. And I really love the size. I love the larger size. Um, I really enjoyed it. But then I started seeing a new size, newer size, um, called the Pocket Plus size. Now, some shops have the Pocket Plus size, which is three and a half inches by five inches. But how you could also get the Pocket Plus size is by enlarging a regular Pocket Rings insert to 105% or downsizing an A6 Rings insert to 86%. So I was really interested and I thought for the new year I would try it. And what I also saw was the new 30 millimeter ring chunky planners. So I was like, you know what? I'm definitely gonna try it for the new year. So I started it and set it up last month and I'm really loving it. So this is more of a functional planner setup. I have a lot of different inserts in here. I'm trying out to see what works best for me. So hopefully you guys will get some ideas. There is some deco in here. I will list all of the shop links where I got everything down below. And um, a lot of inspiration that I got for this setup is from Instagram and YouTube. So I'll link some profiles and some videos down below also. So thank you so much for watching again and let's get started. So in the front, um, you will see this charm. It's from Pigtails and Pockets, and it's the Fox and Pip bow. So then we'll open this up. And so I don't have much deco in the front. Um, here's another Fox and Pip bow on a clip from Pigtails and Pockets. This card right here is from Fox and Pip. Um, when I ordered some stickers, it came with the order. And this is a washi card I thought was pretty from Simply Gilded. So there's that. Then, so the front of my planner, this dashboard I made, um, or actually, excuse me, divider I made just with vinyl. Um, and then laminated it, and then these holographic um, tab labels I made also. I just printed them out on a laser printer and then foiled them. So, but you'll see other dividers in here, and I'll tell you where I got them from and stuff. But these, if you see any like this, top tab or side tab, I did make those. And then this vinyl, decal right here is from Calligraphy by Lindsay, and I believe it's the My Newest Addiction um, collab. So there is that, and my first section is calendar. So then the next page is a piece of acetate from Sparkly Paper Co. This is the Lux collab with like Fox and Pip, Annie Plan, Sparkly Paper Co., um, Carolyn plans and I think a couple others but this is a piece of holographic acetate from her shop then this is just a piece of vellum I printed out from the January digital dash box then this first insert right here is a year at a glance from Annie plans printables and you see the washi strip is the Lux collab and it folds out like this. And I, you'll see I have to fill in a lot of this planner still a little bit from my B6 range, transfer things over. So you'll see some things blank. But um, 
yeah, so this is the year at a glance, and then you could put like special or important dates on here. Then this one right here is from Peanuts Planner Co. And it's like called Monthly Notes. And it's January through June, and then July through December. And I just put this here just for important notes for each month. Then, okay, so this is my first divider, and this is my weekly divider. These sticky notes are the Lux Collab from Fox and Pip, and this divider is the Pocket Plus Size from Planner Press, and her, these tab labels are from Planner Press also. So this is my weekly section. Now, you're gonna see I have a few different weekly setups in here. I'm trying to see which one works best. I also like using different sticker kits, you'll see. So that's why I have so many. <laughs> so um, this is a piece of vellum from Sparkly Paper Clo with the Lux Collab with Fox and Pip Annie Plans. So here is my insert cover. This is a digital from C. Amy Draw. I just print it out on a sticker and print and cut it and put there. And this covers from Annie Plans. So the first weekly insert I have is this fold out from Annie Plans printables. Now, I like it because you could list your Monday through Sunday or Sunday through excuse me, Saturday right here, then you could open it and then you have two lists for Monday through Sunday, a tracker, two areas for to-do list, shopping list, anything, and then on the back you even have room for different things. So, and being it's a smaller size planner, I thought it was really cool, like, and it could fit a lot if you have a really busy week. So, and these are from Annie Plans. Most of my printables are from Annie Plans. Um, I have some from Jacenia and a couple other places, but they're mostly from Annie Plans. Um, so there's that one. So I have like two in here, so two weeks. Then the next insert I have for weekly is the, um, from Annie Plans again, and these fit the week sticker kits. So um, I love those sticker kits, and I have so many from when I was in a week's. Oh yeah, I did try a week's for a period of time in 2019, and I really liked it, but I don't know, I just, when I started using B6 rings, I liked the size, and then Annie came out with, like, being able to use the sticker kits on an insert in all different sizes, so I was just like, you know what, so I switched back to rings, but anyway, so this fits the week's kits, and these are just some setups. Now, here, um, okay. This divider right here was a week's divider I cut down. This divider is a Fox and Pip collab with Type A for Alexa on Instagram. And um, I, I, I saw on a video somebody else cut their in dividers down to fit into a different size planner. So it gave me the idea. So... I didn't cut them all down. I kept some, but you're going to see these throughout my planner. And they fit pretty well. So there's that weekly. Then I printed this weekly. I didn't get to use yet. This is from the Lux Collab. And I liked this because I like using box stickers, like the vertical box stickers the one and a half inch, and these two slots right here fit the box stickers. So I thought, oh, okay, if I wanted to use that type of sticker kit, I could use these. Then the other, then these are sticky notes with Fox and Pip from Print Pression Box. 
I think in like 2018. I'm not, I don't remember what box, but they're definitely from a print pression box a long time ago. But so then I printed out these inserts from Annie Plans, which they're not one and a half inch wide columns, so you can't fit the box stickers, but at the bottom you could fit washi. And then um, I just fit the week's box, you know, little boxes right here. And then like, it's cute for smaller stickers. So um, I really like this setup too. So I'm trying all different setups to see which one works best. And also because I like, like I said, using different sticker kits. So there's that. And that's it for my weekly. Those are the few that I'm trying right now. So then here is a Jelly Star dashboard um, from Cat Spresco, I think it's called. And in here, I just have um, Fox and Pip Tiny Bows. So here's the holographic ones. I, the sun is not out too much, so you can't really see, but... Those are holographic, then these are just the black and white ones, and then these are color ones. And I like putting these in my planner, like just to mark things and on the monthly and things like that. So I use them frequently, so I put them in here. Then on the back of it has a secretarial pocket and I just put a couple die cuts. Sorry, I got a phone call. So I put a few die cuts from Fox and Pip and here is a die cut I just printed out. So then we have our next insert and this is calendar. And what type, this is like a month on one page with the fold out. So you have your month on one page over here. I really liked it because, because it's a smaller size planner, you have this fold out to make monthly notes and to mark your appointments, bills, anything for the month. And you could still decorate the month on one page. Like this um, month, sticker is from see amy draw and the washi and stuff and then here's february and i used on this one the my newest addiction monthly basics kit and washi and see me draw calendar names and then this holographic excuse me page marker month page marker is from ashley lee designs I wish it was like more bright, you could see the holographic, but that's okay. So there's that. And then I only put up until March and, um, and I'm just trying that out, see how I like it. I didn't fill in as you could see yet, but just trying out that one, that type of month to see how I like it. So there's that. Then this is a piece of holographic vellum from Michaels. And underneath it is a piece of cardstock from the new Happy Scrappy box. I thought it was so pretty, the holographic clouds. And then on the back of it, I put her new sticky notes from the same box. I thought they were super cute. And I'm loving holographic. You'll see it all throughout my planner. So next is a monthly weekly insert from Annie Plans. So this is February and I'll tell you why I did this one. So I like having this style month. You're going to see like later in the planner, I have a whole year of this style month so I could use a different sticker kit. But this one I liked using like different type of stickers on and I like the month on two page setup. So this is why I like this insert. So you have the month on two page, you have a monthly tracker, I didn't fill it in yet. Then you have two blank pages to put your to do's for the month or anything you wanna make note of for the month. And then it goes into a week on four pages. Now. 
I like this style week on four pages so I could use box stickers. So as you can see, this is, I believe this is either a pocket plus size insert or it's a pocket size at 105%. And either one, either way you do it, you could fit two one and a half size stickers next to each other in it. So that's why I chose this one. I really like it. So um, I I'm just I just put it in here. I'm just trying it for this week, and I'm liking it so far. So. That is that insert. And I like this insert that it's just the month of February. Then the next insert is just the month of March because some of them from Annie Plans, while I love the setup and I love all her printables and inserts, um, like some will be January to March, April to June, and it'll be like three months to an insert. And I just like that this is just one month to an insert. So there is that, and so that is how right now um, I'm doing like my weekly, monthly setups. Um, I'm trying all those out so I could let you know what works best for me, do another video later in the year. So then we start getting to the other parts of my planner. So this is a piece of Fox and Pip acetate from that same print pression box from a while ago. I don't remember what month, but there's that. Then this is a piece of vellum from Sparkly Paper Co., the Fox and Pip Luxe collab. Then this is a cute little uh, holographic journaling card I got from Cat Spresco, I think. Um, when I ordered the dashboards. And just on the back, I put some My Newest Addiction sticky notes. Then, now this divider is for my month on two page, so I can use a certain sticker kit, which I'll show you. This divider is the Fox and Pip collab from Type A from Alexa. It was week size that I cut down. And here is just a piece of the hollow star clear jelly paper and then this is just a piece of vellum I printed then so this is 2020 and so this is month on two page I absolutely love love the my newest addiction monthly kits I think they're so gorgeous I just love them like in my b6 rings I have like a whole year of them. I just love them. So I definitely wanted to put them in this planner. And this sticker kit size is the A6 size cut down. And it fits pretty well. So here's January. And then here's February. And then as the year goes on, you know, I'll add the other ones. So... There's that. As you can see, a lot of my inserts are based around what stickers I want to use, but that's okay. So then after this insert, we have this piece of vellum I just printed today. This is from the February digital dash box. I saw it was so pretty. So there's that. Then these are new sticky notes from my newest addiction. And this is a fold out from Annie Plans, like a year yearly chart almost, I guess you can call it. I'm not too sure how I want to use it. I want to use it for work, like to track my hours, my PTO, vacation, stuff like that. And then on the back, I have more of the My Newest Addiction sticky notes. And then here's another chart for the year that um, I want to use the same way. Then here's some sticky notes from Fox and Pip. So my next section is my inbox section. 
So, um, like I said, if you see these type of dividers, I made them and the tab labels I made. And they're just the opal vinyl with holographic foil tabs labels. And then this little vinyl decal is from Calligraphy by Lindsay in the opal vinyl. So this is my inbox section. This is a piece of acetate from Rose Color Days, holographic. So now in my inbox, my inbox section has a bunch of different insert styles, like all different lists and notes pages, all different ones, because, you know, I might need a different type of list style for what I'm doing, but basically my inbox is information, important stuff that I get, brain dumps, to-do lists, um, information I need to keep, and that sometimes can go in like other spots in my planner, like to-do lists, or you know, I have to put it in my monthly or weekly section, or it's just information I have to keep, like, you know, um, reference numbers or something like that. So my inbox I use for um, a few different things, but so like here, I was starting to make a list of things I needed to do, but that, as you can see, I only wrote one thing, but, um, and that's like, you know, hotel confirmation, that's private. So yeah, so that's how I use my inbox. I still have to transfer some things and I use it as I get the information. And these are from Fox and Pip, these sticky notes, but they're from a really long time ago. I don't remember when. Um, so my next divider, this is another pocket plus size from Planner Press. And this is my daily section. Here's a piece of Fox and Pip vellum from that same print impression box so now this is my daily section so my daily section is so my daily section is all different type of inserts as you could see because every day like I might just need to make a quick to-do list I might need a place to make notes so like every day is different and I don't need a daily every every day. I definitely do a monthly and weekly all the time, but not a daily. So um, I just put different ones in here. And like this one is the My Newest Addiction from Annie Plans. This one's the Lux Collab. This is the Planner Society Lux Collab. This is Two Little Bees. So it's just all different ones and... Sorry guys, my, um, it's all different ones. So as I need different things, so as you know, I need different type of lists and things for my daily, that's how I'll use that section and put different inserts in there for what I need. So there's that. Then here is a holographic dashboard from Cat Espresso Co. I didn't put anything in it yet. Then this is my list section, and this is a vinyl from Fox and Pip. Um, my list section, and these label covers that you see with this font, um, it's hand drawn by, it's a digital hand drawn by C. Amy Draw that I just printed and cut on sticker paper. So my list insert is kind of like. It's all different lists, to-do lists, shopping lists, purchases, online order lists, but it's kind of like the other ones where there's all different type of inserts in here. I actually got this idea from Carolyn Plans to put like different pages in the section because you'll have different needs within the section. So it's the same type of thing. So there's that. Then um, most of these that you see are seeing right now are from Annie Plans. Then these tab sticky notes are from Fox and Pip. 
and they're like the perfect size for in here and I can move them over and they could be like a tab. So there's that. Then here's a piece of holographic acetate from Scribble Prints Co. So here is my notes section. Now, this is just all different types of grid paper for like random miscellaneous notes I need to make and write down. I, you know, um, just anything. Anything that wouldn't go in like inbox or daily or list, you know, stuff like that. So there's that. Then um, here is a piece of vellum I printed from the Happy Scrappy Digital. Then next is my finance section. Now I have a few different things in my finance section. First, this is a piece of acetate I printed out and then foiled. It's from Madison Fox Plans, I think, a digital from her shop. So I printed that out and then just foiled it with holographic foil. Then this is a really pretty piece of vellum. This is from the January Planner Press digital dash box. So... My first insert is my expense insert. So I won't show you. So what it is is a month on one page on this side and then on here you could keep track of your spending, your expenses from shopping to anything type of expenses you want to track. So I definitely wanted to start doing that for the new year. It it really brought to light my spending, like what I spend, where my money goes, and you know, so I really like that I put that in here. So I have the full year in here. Then, so I have the full year. Then this is a piece of pretty vellum from a happy scrappy box. It's holographic and then a piece of holographic cardstock from that same box from happy scrappy. Then here is a bill tracker. I think it's called a fluctuating bill tracker from Peanuts Planner Co. So you write the bill here um, and then each month you could see like I guess how your bill amount varies. Like, I guess it's good for your utilities, like your electric, propane, like stuff like that. So I have to fill that in, but I really wanted, and water and stuff, it would be good to see. So I didn't fill that out yet, but I really wanna do that and keep track that way. Then here is, this says reoccurring tasks, but what I'm gonna do is list all our bills and then mark off when I pay them for that month. So January, February, you know, mortgage, you paid January, mark it off. And then you could keep track of what bills you paid like that. Then this is my, so this next insert is my bills insert. This insert I have had in every single planner setup. Um, what it is, is I have a, a cut down type A for Alexa divider marking the month, but I'll show you month that I didn't do yet. So what it is, is you list your bills over here. Then there's a blank page over here. You could, you know, make your confirmation numbers, any notes about the month. I actually, I didn't do this yet, but I like putting little calendar stickers right here. So like as you're planning your bills, you could see the month like, okay, well this week I'm going to do this bill and stuff like that. I didn't put them in yet, but I got some for my newest addiction. I'm definitely going to put in there. So yeah, I really like the functionality of that insert. And that's it for the finance section. Now, the second to last section, I believe, yes, this is um my forward planning insert it's another type of monthly but i go here and i mark 
birthdays in here and any forward planning like weddings um anything any type of forward planning that I could then put into the current month and week and things like that so and to mark it I used the holographic fox and pip tiny bows that were in the front of my planner and I didn't write down what but I did mark the dates so there's that. Then this is kind of random here. This is a TV show tracker. So these are just TV shows I want to watch. Then my last insert is my reference section. Right now I only have my passwords in it. But I do, I got this idea from Carolyn Plans. I do want to put things in there that you would reference to. So maybe addresses, um, contacts, you know, any type of information you need to reference to. So I have to finish setting that up. And then that's it for what's in my planner. And then in the back pocket, I keep stickers that I'm currently using. So these are from Lexi Kylie Designs. You know, holiday stickers, then these are from my new, oh, stamps I keep in here. These are from my newest addiction monthlies. Oh, my work schedule. Yeah, so I keep some stuff back there. And that is about it. That's how I'm using this planner right now. And I hope, oh, one more thing. So, inserts I didn't add yet. So I'm planning a wedding. So this insert right here, I wanted to wait till I made another divider to make a new section for it. But this insert right here is from Jacenia Printables and it's 2020 to 2021. And I like how it's set up because like, it's like a quarter of the year at a glance, if you think about it between the two pages. So I'm going to write like wedding things. So, okay, um, I didn't fill it in, but like, okay, I'll put June, dress shopping, July, photographer, you know, and then it gives me an idea of how much time I have until that comes up and, you know, so that's how I'm going to be using that insert. I really like how that's set up. And here is something I didn't put in from Amazon, just the little zip pocket I wanted to put stuff in. So yeah, and that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys got some ideas and I will do another video soon. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.